Today we're going to show you how we grow potatoes in a raised bed. First thing you got to have is your seed potatoes. You grow your potatoes from the potato itself. Um, this is a good sized seed potato, but if you do have the bigger one, you can cut them to pieces. So I get these from a local store um, that carries all kind of produce and he orders in the seed potatoes that normally like this size this is a good size potato you can just put the whole thing in the ground but if you need more potatoes and they they can get expensive um i'm not sure i think i paid a dollar a pound for these i'm not 100 percent sure i really didn't ask i just i got other stuff i got onions and stuff and so what you look at here, you can see the eyes on the potatoes. So what you want to do is take a knife the eyes. And now you have two that you can do. You can go even further. And this one has two eyes right here. You can split this and make another one. But this is about the size that I want. So we just go through and cut cut our potatoes up and get them ready to plant now we'll let them set here for a little bit out here in the sun we don't have too many that needs to be cut from that from what i pick because i go through and pick them out and i try to pick out the one the smaller one so that you don't um we don't have to uh sit here and cut them um and i'm not sure how many potatoes we're going to need but we're just going to go through the process of doing it Let them sit here, and we're going to go over to the bed and get them planted. Now, we grow in raised beds because this is real soft um, compost that we got filled up. Um, and these type red potatoes, you, you have to heal them like if they're in the earth bed. But in a raised bed, you don't have to do that. Uh, we do come back later on once they get going and we will put some straw all in around it but probably not necessary but all our potatoes is the soil is so loose the potatoes can grow down most time the reason in an earth bed that it doesn't grow down is because the soil is too compacted so I made this planting guide when I went to raise beds I was I tried to pack them full and not giving them the spacing they need so so what i do is i come off the edge of the bed with the first one about six inches and put the potato down and cover it up and then from this point if this is marked every three or six inches so i can come up and put another one and then come up another six or 12 inches and put in another one and that gives me the perfect spacing between the potatoes that i need now i always make sure that the eyes are pointing up don't plant it this way make sure it's planted that way so we're gonna go through here and just get this bed planted out all right here's our potatoes that we're growing in a raised bed we planted these, I think, around the 1st of March, and we're in the second week of April, and they're doing good. I got a few coming on that's a little bit behind. Weather got, it was warm, it got a little cool, and I think it knocked them back a little bit. But we're to the point to grow them in these raised beds, we need to mulch. The potato is exposed to sunlight. The part that's exposed to the sunlight will turn green, and that is called solaline now solaline if you eat it it'll be bitter and it can cause some digestive uh, issues so you want to avoid that now if you're growing in a earth bed you're just going to heal your potatoes with dirt you just continue to do that but in this raised bed all that i do is come in and add 
uh, a layer of wheat straw. And you can use most any kind of uh, mulch you can. Leaves are a good option, but all this is going to break down and just keep adding organic matter to your to your uh, soil that you, that you have in here, and which is really what you want. Uh, these are looking real good. They started off slow, uh, got a little cold weather. Um, they didn't particularly like that, even though they will take a good bit of cold. But uh, we're going to go through here and we're going to get all this mulch. Now, as this settles, you may have to add some more to it as you go along. Uh, but this is what you want to do to be sure you mulch it. Uh, this wheat straw will actually help hold in moisture uh, as the weather continues to get warmer as we go deeper into spring. Uh, we can't seem to get away from the rain. Uh, it's like every weekend, it's rain, rain, rain. But this will definitely help so that's that's going to be what you need to do next and uh, growing potatoes if you like potatoes growing them yourself is the best way to do it all right our potatoes are rolling right along some of them needs a little more time you can see some of them died back pretty good and still got a lot of green in it but um we're going to dig some new potatoes for supper tonight so we're going to see what 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 we have under there and see what it's looking like
Hey guys, this is what we got so far. We've dug up roughly four plants. And this is on the bigger end. And you got some this small and smaller. But these are new potatoes, freshly dug potatoes. We have a lot of recipes that calls for the smaller ones and stews and roast and stuff like that. So you just clean it up, and drop the whole potato in it. But guys, growing in a raised bed, growing potatoes in a raised bed is a whole lot easier than doing it in the in the ground or the earth bed, which both ways work very well. I've done them both ways, and both of them are very productive. But if you have a small space and grow them in a raised bed, is definitely the way to go. And they're a whole lot easier to dig. You've seen how loose the soil was as we went through. So that's what we have so far. We're gonna leave the rest of these in for a couple of weeks because we've got a long stretch of dry weather with no rain in, in the uh, forecast. But we're gonna use these. We're gonna use these tonight. We got a recipe that we're gonna do and uh, we'll use up most of these. We usually do not have it grow enough of these potatoes to put us through the, the year. Now we do sweet potatoes, but not these red potatoes. Uh, and the reason being is we use them so much. I have already dug in some of these places, digging up these new potatoes because that's the way we use them. So whichever way you wanna do, if you wanna try to be self-sufficient and supply your food for the whole year, or just do them the way we do and grow them and eat them as you go. Either way, it's a good thing. When you can become self-sufficient, it's always a good thing. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this one. And if you grow it, you know it.